Boxing King Media and Association with Box Draw, Dev Sani, the jack of all trades. That's probably the best way I can introduce you. Well, look, I refer to myself as the jack of all trades and the master of all trades. That's a good one, master of all trades. <laughs> Obviously, like that, that's me, like sort of hamming it up a little bit. I'm not jack of all trades, master of sort of. I'm trying. I'm just trying, mate. You know, I'm trying. Well, Dev, you're doing really well. The fans will recognise you from doing MC work. You're constantly on the Queensbury Channel, doing interviews, presenting a bit of everything. You know, obviously you've got a long journey that's come to got to you to this point now. Uh, but just quickly on this actual show, how much does it mean to you from where you've come from to be working alongside such a big event? I haven't really taken that in. Do you know what? When you're when you're in fight weeks like this, and it's huge, it's a monster. Like I can't believe it's Thursday. I've been I've been here since Monday. It just goes so quickly. I, I'm not sure when I'll get a chance to sort of take a breath and take it all in. Uh, and sort of taking what I've been a part of. It's, it's amazing, but that, that moment hasn't come yet. Maybe, maybe in a couple of weeks' time, I'll look back. But, but even then, like, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be pushing Pride Park for, for Zach Parker and Andre. It's that you don't really get a moment to stop and think here. Obviously, you've been with Frank for quite a while and obviously you manage a lot of the socials. Obviously, there's competition from, between all the promoters, but you probably, I see you tweeting about a lot of the negativity that gets said about Frank Warren promotions, Queensbury promotions, should I say. Um, do you feel like you know you, you've always got a point to prove, and you're actually doing that with this event? Look, I think it's it's great that Frank won the purse bid for this. Um, there was a lot of expectation that Matchroom Dazone would would win it. You know, they they they've got all the money, the you know, the funding of of Dazone, etc. Uh, and it was it was a good statement from Queensbury to do this, and it is it is a, you know, it's a Queensbury show. Yeah, it's it's important that it's happening. Um, in terms of my my staunch defence of, of Frank Warren and Queensbury online, I just I just uh, I, there's not enough voices defending Frank, and I just I'll just be one. I think he's a legend. I think he's a legend. Obviously, I work for him, um, but yeah, I, I, I'm happy to be that voice. And, and what I'll say will will be fact. So, for example, I, I tweeted out. When this went, when Frank won the purse bid, I said Dillian White finally gets his world title shot. Uh, his first fight with Queensbury, he gets a world title shot at the National Stadium and gets paid more than he's ever done before. That's a fact. That's actually what's happening. But um, yeah, obviously get a lot of stick. Yeah, I, I always watch your tweets and I see they always try your best to defend you know Queensbury promotions and Frank. Um, do, do you feel like a lot of it's unjust, or do you think it's like a PR thing, or is it just like in Twitter trolls? No, I think it's just. Um, no, I think that the boxing fans, the, the, the ones coming through, are, are more used to seeing Eddie, and um, they they don't necessarily know the history of Frank and the fighters that he's promoted, the amazing shows that he's put on. He's done Wembley. He's done Wembley before. Frank Bruno against Oliver McCall. That was his show. But a lot of the guys on Twitter won't know or appreciate that. So um, I think some of it is just. It's just new fans to the sport. They're, they're seeing a young promoter in Eddie Hearn, and they're, and they're getting with him, and you know, so so they should. Um, yeah, I think it's more that. It'd be unjust of me to ask you for a prediction on the fight because I know you're, you're probably going to go with your guy, Tyson. But let me ask you this: If Dillian White is to win, how does he win? <sighs> if Dillian White wins, it will uh, it will be if Tyson Fury switches off. Um, if he switches off he'll get switched off and he can't afford to switch off against Dillian White so you'd imagine it would be a knockout win for Dillian White I can't see him outboxing Tyson Fury I can't really see anyone outboxing Tyson Fury that would be how he wins and if he does look it's a I said it to him yesterday it's a huge moment for him I don't think enough has been made of it in that if he wins he becomes the WBC and lineal world heavyweight champion he's just beaten Tyson Fury on box office this side and that side of the pond, in front of 94,000 people. He's not tied down to any network. He's not tied down to any promoter. At that point, he becomes the hottest free agent in world boxing. And I said that to him yesterday. And he was like, oh, wow. It was a bit of a moment of realization there. Um, be a huge moment for him if he does win, but I don't expect him to win. Did you say that on the basis of hoping or maybe trying to plant a seed that he can kind of dictate his career and go wherever he wants, maybe Sky and not back to Eddie N. Not really. I mean, it's just, I, I think he, he'll, he'll go where, I'm not sure he's actually boxed on the zone yet. Um, 
the Valin fight was scheduled to be on the zone, but it didn't happen. Um, the Povetkin rematch was on Sky. He'll, he'll go wherever wherever he wants to go, really. Um, there'll be plenty of offers out there for him if he wins this fight. Even if he loses the fight, there'll still be plenty of offers out there for him. I just want to get your opinion on Eddie Hearn. Obviously, you work for Frank, but what's your opinion on Eddie Hearn? What, how do you class him as a person, promoter, um, the work he's done? I think he's a really good promoter. You're trying to, you're trying to get something out of me here. No, look, I, I think... Get your opinion. Yeah, look, I, I think he's a, he's a very good... Um, Modern day boxing promoter. He's yeah. He he he's built up his brand. This is this is something that that's sort of new to boxing promotion in terms of he's built up his brand and he's building his fighters on the back of that. Has he taken a bit of a left turn with the whole design thing? Maybe, maybe. I guess um, I guess we'll see. We'll have to see how that plays out. But overall, look, he's he's a good promoter and he he'll, he'll back his guys in the same way Frank will back his guys as well. Um, they're more similar, I think, than, uh, than they probably let on. Last question, just about yourself, Dev. How much does it mean to, to you, you know, being a British Asian, being in the public eye, doing what you're doing? It must have been a lot to you, because there's not many British Asians doing what you're doing. Yeah, again, look, that, that's something I just haven't really, haven't really given much thought to. It's only when, when you say things like this, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know what, you're right. But I... Do you know what? I don't even I don't even like see myself as a British Asian. I just see myself as a as a bloke trying. Um, so yeah, no, it, to be honest, it doesn't really mean that much because I I don't really recognise race in a way. That's a fair point. You know, I mean, you see, you're basically saying you see everyone as an equal. Yeah, I guess so. Too. I just um, yeah. When, when I'm when I'm speaking to you, I don't look at you as oh, oh this is a. Indian, are you Indian? Pakistan, yeah. yeah. I stand like John Fury now. Indian, are you Pakistani? No, um, no, I don't see you as that. I just see you as a you know, boxing king media, dominating. So, yeah, I just see you as a person. I see everyone as people. Top man, Dev. So where does this journey take you? Last question on yourself. Obviously, you've done all sorts, but where do you, where do you see the ultimate goal? Um, I, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing right now this week. This week, I've been doing the live stuff with Queensbury. Uh, with John Fury, oh, I've enjoyed that a lot. I, I think I'd, I'd like to be a presenter. I'd like to, you know, like I mean, I'm doing a bit now, but you know, properly like TV and you know, when, when the rather than being the guy, rather than being the MC, I want to be the one that hands over to the MC and over to our MC. I'd like to be almost like the Paul Dempsey, that that kind of role. I think I'll get there. Keep keep plugging away. Maybe you could do everything. You could say over to the MC, Dev signing, then run down to the ring, MC, and then the post fight interview as well. I'm in there. Look, I'll, I'll do anything. I'm just a, you know, I'm just the can man. I'm just, I'll just say yes to anything. And look, it's, it's, it's got me, got me fairly far just by saying yes and then just backing myself to, uh, to do it. Well, David, doing a good job. So I wish you all the best in your future career, whatever it takes you. And uh, good luck this Saturday. Thanks, mate. Good to talk to you. And I'll see you soon.